Hello? Hi, it's Roy. I left a note on your car last week. Oh, yes, Roy. Hello, how are you doing today? I'm okay, how are you? I'm pretty good. How are you? Good. Um, where did you, where did you hit the car? Well, I didn't hit it exactly. I, I hooked up a chain to the axle because I was trying to pull it with my car. And oh, the, why would... The chain kind of, it, it went, it kind of hit the bottom of the bumper as I was pulling it. Oh, okay. So you, you, were, you weren't trying to pull my car, right? No, I was, but it didn't work because I drive one of those little smart cars, just a two-seater. And it, just, it wasn't strong enough to pull your car because it was in park. Okay, why did you want to pull my car? I don't know. Just, you know, no reason. You wanted to hook up a chain and, and pull my car for some reason? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it wouldn't, it, to do. it wouldn't work because I, I drive a really small car, so it, your car was stronger than mine. Um, I guess you're not a local person, hey? Well, uh, I no, well, no, not really. I'm from Washington. Oh, you're from Washington. Okay. Yep. So the only thing I'm trying to, I'm still trying to get my head around this is that why, why did you want to hook up a chain to my car and pull it just for something to do? Like, I'm trying to figure that out. Oh, uh, you know, don't don't worry about it. I was just just wanted to pull it. You just wanted to pull the car. Yeah, I wanted to pull okay. it down the street. You wanted to pull the car down the street. Mm-hmm. Okay. Is this something that you do, like, on a regular basis? Or oh, no, no, not usually. No, just just yours. Just mine? Yeah. Well, I just got the chain. I, I was just really itching to test it out. Okay. Okay, well, you know what? I, I think the car is actually okay. Oh, okay, so that's I don't good. Think we, yeah, I don't think we really need to worry about it. Okay, all right. But well, yeah, it's just it's up underneath on the bottom of the bumper. You can't really see it. But if, if it's a problem, just let me know, and I'll give you my insurance information. Okay, and you know what? Maybe that's not a really good thing to do in the future. Oh, I don't know. Like pull people, pull people's cars with well, a, with a chain. I think I should pull smaller cars because my car is pretty small and it it, it doesn't ha- it only has so much power to pull cars. Okay, yeah, I, I hear you. So you know what? Maybe I should get your address and uh, just for information purposes. Oh no, okay? you don't need that. Nah, you don't need it. I don't need your address. No. Nah. Are, are you coming back up this way anytime soon, or? Well, yeah, I live. I'm kind of living in the area right now. You're living in the area. Okay. Yeah, yeah, for work. Oh, okay, all right. Well, just do me a favor, okay? And yeah, don't don't pull my car. Well, I, I won't because I I can't. I would, but I can't. Oh, you know, okay. my car's too small. Okay. It's yeah, a, that's just not a. It's not a cool thing to do. It's a smart car. Okay. So, yeah, you both. Thanks for calling. You're welcome. Have a good have a good day. You too. Okay. Bye. Okay, bye-bye. Kisses. Hi everyone, you're listening to the Snowplow Show. I'm your host Brad, and today is totally August 19th, 2020. It's not the day after or anything, it's the 19th. And this show is brought to you by Effin Reality, Ryan Jardina, Stacky Stace, Lord and Lady of Veggies, and Steel Lotus. Those are a few of the people who support the show over on patreon.com slash phone losers. And there's a few new supporters like Maha Wave, and Toaster King, and Tyler, Steve H., and why kick a mukul? It's okay if I just gave out someone's last name because I totally pronounced it wrong, I'm sure. So hi everyone, here are the announcements. There's a PLA coin Kickstarter, you all know about that. Link in the show notes. There is an Airhead PCN lapel pin. I bet you've heard about that too. Link in the show notes. Somebody on Facebook, here let me click on this because I can't remember who it is. Mark is starting up a PLA fantasy football thing. If you're into that kind of thing, I know a lot of the listeners are, and I think he said he did it last year. I sort of remember that. It's not my thing, but he's set up a league. I don't know how all this stuff works, but I'm going to put a link in the show notes if you want to go join this or do whatever you do over there with your silly football stuff. I know Carlito used to do that too. I don't know if Dwight does that. 
That sounds like something Dwight would do. Is there a PCN football thing? I have no idea. And if you don't have Facebook, I don't know what to tell you because I don't see any other link or anything. It's just a thread in the PLA Facebook group and the link is in the show notes. Dwight from the Mop Riding with Dwight show, he is still doing a meetup in San Jose this year. It happens on Halloween, October 31st, down in San Jose. I'll put a link to that in the show notes too. That's also a Facebook page. If you want to go to San Jose and catch some COVID with your favorite prank callers, now's your chance. I probably won't be there, but Dwight's going to be there and a bunch of other people are going to be there. According to the guest list, Nicholas Caesar's going to be there. I don't think he would lie. I know a lot of these people just put their name on there. And they're like, yeah, I'm totally going. Looks like Snappy Bakes might be there. And Riley, Riley Mix, Riley Lux, whatever his name is this week. Wait, why can't I see the entire list? This is bullshit. I can only see 13 of the 19. Are those all people I blocked or something? I don't know. Anyway, that's happening. What else is going on? I don't think anything. So let's just do some show things. Greetings, listener. I'm Mr. Biggs, and you've tuned in to the Snowplow Show on the Phone Losers of America Radio Network. Playing the best pranks of the 80s, 90s, and today. Hello? Hey, Denver? Yes. Hey, um, do you think you could stop coming in my yard? Uh, This is Roy, by the way, your neighbor. Can you stop coming in my yard late at night and Metal detecting. Huh? Can, can you just stop coming in my yard late at night? It's weird. It's kind of freaky. Who is it, Mike? Yeah. I, I, I don't normally come in your yard at all. I walked, today, I walked over to Jason's, and I did cut across the corner of your yard. Oh, but no. I've never been in, I've never been in your uh, yard at night. Oh, no, no. It's, it's fine. We know you go back there and, and do metal detecting at night. And it's do what we I know that you go back there late at night at like three or four in the morning and and do metal detecting and that's okay, but can you just metal detecting? I don't do ever. I'm never ever out of my house at four o'clock in the morning. Can you please just not do that anymore? When I uh, but I I don't understand what you're talking about. Oh, metal detecting. You know you know when you uh you use your metal detector to like look for. I don't have a metal detector, Mike. Where'd you get the one that you were using in my yard? I never used one in your yard. Okay, it looks just just no, I, I'm not I don't know what I don't know I don't understand what you're talking about. My I have no metal detector. I never go in the yard metal detecting. I never go in the yard when it's dark. Okay, look and I've I'm never not, been in your I'm I've not, never been in your the only time I've ever been in your yard was when you were there or I walked across it today going to Jason's and the dogs were barking at me. Well, I'm not angry. I'm just, you know, we have motion detectors and cameras in the backyard, and we noticed that you well, were back do, there. Do, in metal- do, do, you have, do you have pictures of me in the yard? Yeah, yeah. You were, like, in your pajamas or something. I don't know what you're wearing. Look, maybe you're sleepwalking. Uh, wait. Uh, no, I, I never go outside, Mike. Yeah, but if you're sleepwalking, you wouldn't know. I don't. I, I would know sometime I would have to wake up before I came back in the house. Yeah, well, not if you go home, back home, and go to sleep, Mike. I'm just saying. I've never. I've never uh, I, I want to. I want you to show me pictures or show Jason your pictures because I've never been in your yard at night. Never. Hmm. What's What's that? Um. What's that noise? I suddenly hear. I I hear like heavy machinery running. Is that like an old 386? Huh? Is that an old 386 or something? 386. I don't, I don't know what's that what's that uh like that he- heavy fan noise. Oh, the power plant's by my house. The power plant. No, it's in your room. It's it's there in the room. What what's making all that fan noise? I'm outside, Mike. Oh. We if you're if this is this if this is Mike next door, yeah. I'm outside. No, this is Mike. I, I just I heard like a weird fan noise, I guess. Didn't sound like well, the power. Over, well, hey, Mike, come over in my yard and let's talk this over. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, well, no, I, I don't. I, I'm I'm not even wearing pants right now. I don't want to come out. I'm just saying, like, could you not metal detect late night in my yard anymore? I don't. I don't metal detect. But, I have no metal detector. Okay, but, che- ask Jason. I have no metal detectors. Okay, listen, Denver. Can you just do it during the daytime? Like, you don't need, need I don't, my. Pr- I don't. Hey, I don't just, do it daytime or night. I don't have a metal detector. 
it's just kind of it's weird like because i'm sleeping and then the the motion detector alarm goes off and i have to get up and go look at it and you're out there with your metal detector but the daytime would be fine mike i don't know what you you got me confused because uh i have no metal detector at all in the house anywhere (sighs) and i don't metal detect and the yeah. only, like I said, the only time I can ever remember being in your yard is walking over to Jason's. I cut across the corner of your yard because I took oh, tomatoes. Oh, this again. And I walked in. You took a tomato? And, and their dogs were barking at me today. You took a but tomato? I never. Huh? Nothing. So, like, was that you that left the, the fake carding note on our car? Huh? Did, did you left a, a note on my windshield that said, sorry, I'd I didn't. Never, I, I, I would never. My I, you're, you've got dog. Are you sure you're talking to the right person? I'm not. I'm not what you're talking about yeah. because I've never, I've never been within twenty feet of your cars. It, oh no, it's it's. Well, this this was just a note that, that you left. I I just figured you were joking or something with the note. Oh, I don't. I've never been around your cars, Mike. Oh, you also say you haven't been in my backyard, but. We, we both, I haven't been in your backyard. We, I don't. When I go to Jason's, I go down the road. Or I don't walk across your yard, uh, and yeah. I don't. Me- and I have no metal detector. I'll have Jason come over and talk to you because he knows I don't have a metal detector. What's Jason doing right now? Huh? What's Jason doing right now? Jason uh, and Kimmy went to uh, his boss's house to clean house. Oh, I know what you mean. Mm-hmm. What? Oh, no, no, it's cool. I know what you mean. You don't sound like Mike. No. No, this is Mike. This is definitely Mike. Uh, this is definitely Mike. I just... I just... I just... Um, I, I don't know why you're saying that. I, uh, I just don't understand what you're talking about, Mike, because I have no metal detectors. I've never been in your yard at night. Are you? And I don't sleepwalk because I keep the doors locked, and I would have to unlock the doors and let myself out and let myself back in. Yeah, but you would know how to do that because you're you. You know, you know how your house works. No. Even no. If even if you're asleep. No, I don't. What I don't sleepwalk, Mike. Uh, well. and, and I don't. And I don't have a metal detector, and I've never been out and seen your lights come on or anything of a night. I've got a. I've got a light on my building in my yard that's supposed to come on but i've never seen it on of a night either yeah are you behind your house right now or are you out front i'm out front oh my god that that pa- the the phone really picks up the power station i mean you're you're like six houses down from it you know like it's way over there and i can hear it through the phone it's crazy but you know i'm crazy I'm, close as you are but mike i have no middle detectors okay and i don't ever go in your yard yeah 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 and i and i want and i will send jason over there when he gets home okay here's the thing talk to and talk to you and show him the pictures of me being in your yard okay here's the thing the pictures really don't show anyone's face i was just trying to i was using the process of elimination to figure out who it was so well, now, it's, now not, it's not me, Mike. Oh, well, okay. That's I, I, that's good. I'm going to check you off the list, and I'm going to call the next one on the list. Well, yeah, because somebody else may, but Mike, I swear to God, I've never, never been in your yard at night. Okay. And I don't have a metal detector. Okay. And and so, I like you and Denise like like one of my best, better friends. Oh, that's so sweet. She, we like you, too. You know, like, we were talking about becoming, a, a like, a, a swinger couple, and, and you are, like, in the top three on our list of couples to swing with. Oh, no. You're, you're, you're playing games now, Mike. I can tell by your voice. But no. I, I'll have Jason, when he gets home, I want him to talk to you because I this, this really upsets me. Oh, don't be that upset. You think, that you think that you would think that what I would come to your yard look metal detect him or whatever. Well I didn't think you were up to anything bad. I just I thought you were just, you know, this new hobby, like late at, night hobby. At, at, at night? I don't How do you find metal at night? Well uh, with a goddamn flashlight? Duh. Mike. What? I'm just saying like 
it's not it's not it, it, you know you know we it's the 21st it, century we <laughs> There's ways around the darkness at this point. So you, you didn't you didn't metal detect, but I I get that you, I, you just left I the don't carding metal note. Detect it. I don't metal detect, and and with your dog, I wouldn't go into your yard. But I know the the carding note that you left on my windshield. That was you. I did not leave a car. I did not leave a note on your car. Yeah, but is your handwriting? How do you know my handwriting? Because I looked through your trash and I examined it. I went to the. I don't have. When did you look through my trash? Uh, a detective never reveals his sources. Crap! I already did that. Okay. But okay. I, like, yeah, uh, you're, something. Yeah, I don't know if this is Mike or not because I have no trash anymore. What? I t- I did later did away with the trash pickup. Where where where's because your tra- they got too high. Where's your trash go? I burned it. No, I have. I I canceled them uh, a long time ago. Can, can I come if over? If I have and- any trash, if I have any trash that I don't. Get rid of Mike across the street. I give it to I put it in his trash can. Wow. But see, you're lying to me. What? Somewhere along the line. What? No, I don't lie. I'm. You know I'm a you're Christian. You're lying to me because you know that you didn't go through my trash because I have no trash. And you, I'm. Okay, I look. Gonna, I was just. You know. I was doing the same thing with the carding note. Process of elimination. I was just making well, sure it wasn't thanks, you. So now I believe thanks. you. You, you got to believe me, Mike, because I, you know, you're, I, I thought, we, you know, we're good friends. Oh, yeah, you know, we're good friends. No, you're, don't be but, silly. We're, but, we're the best of friends. We're neighbors. Well, I know that, but why, why, I don't know. Well, I know you say you're trying to eliminate people. I should have been eliminated because I've never been in your yard. The only, like today, not and not normally I go straight down the road. Today I cut across and the dog started barking and we got out of your yard because I don't want to, you know, to have your dogs barking at me. Yeah, yeah, they'll fuck yeah. you up. Huh? They'll fuck you up, those dogs. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, no, they, I, I was scared of them when they, before you got them trained. But yeah. yeah. I really want to hang up the phone right now. Well, I want, I, want, I want you to talk to Jason. Okay, I, this really bothers me. No, Mike. don't don't let it bother you. I, I was just, I'm, it's process of elimination. You're feeling singled I, I'm out. Gonna, I, I'm, I'm going to have Jason come over. Okay. I'm having Jason come over and talk to you. That's fine. This really bothers I'm, me. I'm calling up everybody in the neighborhood though, and just trying to figure out. Was it? Do you think what? it was Jason? Huh? Do you, no, Jason don't have a detective either. I yeah. just want Jason. Can you have Jason? Uh, Jason bring a beer uh, with him. Can you have Jason bring over a beer for me and him? I, I I don't think this this is not Mike. This can't be Mike. No, it really, it really is. Um, I'm I'm really, you know what? Um, somebody's at the door. I gotta go. So someone just someone's knocking on my front door right now. I really gotta get going. I right, I'm looking at your front door. I don't see nobody knocking on your front door. Yep, yep. Oh, they're they're really banging on that. I gotta go. I got, I'll see you later. Okay. Okay. Mike, away! Oh, man, I thought we were going to hear him go talk to Jason or something. Tell him how Mike is clearly on acid tonight. But no, he walked around his house for a while and finally hung up. And I'm looking at his house on uh, Google Maps right now. And it's kind of like a country. It's a neighborhood, but it's like a country neighborhood, like gigantic yards and propane tanks and stuff like that. He's six houses from the power station, six houses with pretty large yards in them. And then a bunch of trees in between the power station and him, and then the power station. And that was making a lot of noise. Like, how is it that loud if he's that far away from it? It's a lot of noise coming from that power station that's pretty far away. Hello? Hey, Sherry? Yes? It's, it's Roy, your neighbor. It's who? Roy, your neighbor in the blue house. Roy? Look, you don't have to pretend you don't know me. 
Can you please stop coming here and ringing my doorbell and running off? I haven't been there for at least two weeks. You haven't rang my doorbell and run off? And... It's not me. No, no. What? No. Where are you? Where are you from my duplex? Look, I know it's you. Like, I, I have a ring doorbell. Can, can you please just not do that? I don't do. I don't even know who you are. I don't know. No, <sighs> my my children. My daughter was was uh, visiting my duplex last weekend, and um, my niece came and met her from Chicago. And Susie went outside, and Karen had the wrong um, duplex. It might have been her, but I, 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 I don't appreciate you lashing out at me and accusing me of ringing your doorbell when I wasn't even there. Well, and I hope you don't bother to call me again. Hey, it has your picture on the doorbell, so. Wow, that was a nice ending line. I hope you don't bother to call me again. <laughs> That's my imitation of her. Hi. Amber is currently unavailable. Please speak clearly. Your voicemail is being transcribed by email. Wow, email's a piece of garbage, April. Wait, April? Did that thing just say Amber? Who the fuck is this? Hello? Hey, Edward? Hello? Yes, it's Ed. Hey there, it's, it's Roy, your neighbor. I'm sorry, who is it? I'm sorry? Roy, your neighbor. Hey, can you stop okay. coming over here and, and pooping in my bushes? What are you talking about? Ah, uh, come on. Just, like, you don't have to be like that about it and pretend you didn't do it. Can you just please not do that anymore? Well, you got to tell me who you really are. What neighbor do you think I am anyway? What? Well, I, I already said your name. It's Edward. Yeah, but I don't think you got the right Edward. Uh, okay, so I just, I happened to call the wrong Edward at, at his phone number? You, well, you just might have, because I'll tell you what, I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, I about. live on 206th I know, Street. Or something, is that right? I live on 206th Street. I, I'm just down the road a little bit. Well, what in the heck? You, what, what, just just stop, pooping stop. In the what are you talking about? You keep pooping and peeing out there. Just please stop pooping and peeing out there. Like, what I, are you talking about? I don't know if that's just some weird cheap thrill you're getting or something, but I don't need you pooping and peeing in my bushes. What are you talking about? I don't have any idea what you're talking about. Peeping in, in bushes? What are you talking about? You know exactly what I'm talking about. Stop playing dumb. Just, I'm just, I'm not angry. I'm just asking if you could please not do it again. It's not... Wh where you, are your bushes at? I don't even know where your bushes... What you, bushes are you talking about? Well, okay, look, I want to tell you something. I'm relieved that you don't know where the bushes are because that means you're not singling me out by pooping and peeing in my bushes. But, I, I, look, I, I, where is your property at? I well, have no idea what you're talking I'm, about. I'm just down the road a bit. Like, just, you know, just right over there. Like, not it's it's it, it's a little past the road. Like, are you pooping and peeing in a lot of bushes that you don't know... Which one I am? <laughs> what, what are you talking about? My gosh, what what are you talking about? I'm talking about your poo and your pee. You gotta stop pooping and peeing in my bushes. <laughs> or or anywhere in my yard. Like even out in the open. That's weird. <laughs> Go, use your goddamn toilet. What, what are you talking about? I what are you are you nuts? You're, oh, oh! I'm the one that's nuts. You're the one pooping and peeing on my bushes. <laughs> yeah, real funny, isn't it? <laughs> well, I don't know if your name's Roy and you're saying something like that. I have no idea. How would you like it if I pooed and I peed in your bushes? <laughs> are, you, are you crazy? I'll go out really? there and poo and pee in your pool. <laughs> You'll have to take down Roy, that. Roy, where are you coming from, Roy? You're gonna have to take Roy, down that. You you're coming? gonna have. You're gonna have to take down that sign. That that stupid sign that says there's no pee in our pool. Because guess what? I'm gonna <laughs> pee in your pool. I don't have that sign, so I don't know what you're talking about. You know what? So I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put that sign up on your fence, and I'm gonna pee in your pool, and then I'm gonna rip it down. 
Oh well, boy, leave, you leave. got the wrong you got the wrong person because I I have no idea where you're at or where you're coming from or what you do. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> pretend you don't know what poop and pee is now, too. Oh my gosh. You are crazy as hell. <laughs> I guess I got your number. I'll back to it and figure out who you are. Oh, go You're ahead. Go, no. go ahead. <laughs> Look, I, I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to start taking pictures of you pooping and peeing in my bushes, and I'm going to post them up by the road. <laughs> you are so nuts. No. It's not crazy. Oh, then, then we'll see how much you laugh about it. What kind of what kind of bushes are you talking about? And where is this you're talking about? Oh, you know exactly where I am. Are you talking about? Are you, you're just you pooping. Got the wrong Ed. Probably just <laughs> pooping and peeing all over the neighborhood. No, I know exactly who you are. I don't know which house you're in. Like I'm your I'm your neighbor. I've lived here forever, and I shouldn't have to put up with this. You don't have the right neighbor. I'll tell you that. You dumb butt. Gee, many cranks. Hey, don't call me a. D- <laughs> he just hung up on me. He called me a dumb butt and then hung up on me. That is bullshit. I should probably mention that the phrase stop pooping and peeing out there is copyright 2018 by Devin Anus Tart. Please don't sue me, Devin. I don't want any trouble. Hello? Hey, Karen. It's Roy, your neighbor. Hi. Hi. Hey, um, can you please stop making prank calls to me? I'm serious. It's it's getting a little old, and I have your I have caller ID. I know most people don't have that, but I have it on my home phone. Can you please just not do that anymore? Cause I'm trying to go to sleep. Who who is this? Uh, this is Roy, your neighbor. You know the blue house. Roy, who? The blue house. We haven't made any calls to your house. Oh yes, you have. Maybe you didn't realize it was me. Maybe you thought you were calling someone else. But you were calling me. I haven't called anyone. No, you are calling me and telling me to stop peeing and pooping in your bushes. And that's hilarious. Oh, please. You, you got me, but please. Right, can, sure. Okay. What do you mean, right, sure? sure. I, I have caller ID. I'm not stupid. <laughs> Neither am I. We have not called you from this phone. Yes, you have. And please stop. You don't have to deny it. Just stop. Goodbye. Fine. Oh, whatever. The lady thinks she can just prank me. Hi, this is the Google Assistant. Can I ask what you're calling about? Blah! That is a really loud ding, Rebecca. All right, hang on while I try to reach them. God, I fucking hate Google Voice. You know, you know, like all these... Hello? Hey, Rebecca? Yeah? It, it, it's your neighbor, Roy? Uh-huh. Hey, can you please stop making prank calls to my house? We're trying to sleep. You know, I have two kids. They have school in the morning. Can you please just not do that anymore? Somebody's making prank calls to your house? Uh, well, I think someone in your house is. Do you have kids or something that are making prank calls to me? Uh, you said, Roy, you live across the street. No, I, I live in the blue house. Do you, can, can you Which just, one is that? Uh, I, I don't even know this number. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I barely... How do you I, have my I, number? I don't even know you, but you're making prank calls to my house, and I don't see what the point of that is. You know, we're all grown ups here. But okay. like was was that your kids? Uh, was it your kids? Were they making prank calls to me? Can you ask them to please stop? Uh okay. <laughs> Bye. They were they were asking me to stop pooping and peeing. That sounds like something a kid would do. Ugh. Anyway, as I was saying before, Google Voice, that Google Assistant thing that's come out recently, I would say that is a pretty big threat to prank callers. Because people are always asking me, like, hey, what are you going to do when the, the government instates this shaken stirred protocol thing that's going to stop all caller ID spoofing forever? And I'm like, yeah, right. That's not going to do shit. That will actually make things easier on me. But, man, Google Assistant, I hate that thing. I mean, she did pick up. So maybe things will be just fine. Especially if they get rid of the robocallers. Oh, shit, I've got a call coming in from this area. Hello, this is Roy. Hello, Roy. Hey, what's up? What are you doing? <laughs> oh, not much, you know. Just chilling. Yeah? Yep. Oh, that's cool. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, just, Hold just on. hanging out. Hold on, another call's coming in. This looks Roy. What? <laughs> what? Yeah. <Wait. laughs> Hello? Hello? 
Hello? Yeah, you just saw my phone number. What's going on? Who is this? You called my phone number. Who is this? I called your I'm phone calling, number. Call yeah, I'm, re I'm returning the call. I'm returning the call. You just called me five minutes ago. Who's Roy? Roy. My name is not Roy. Do you know Mike? Okay, but look. Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Back the phone up. I had a missed call, and I got a message from Roy. Roy. Not from and this I number. Called. Yep, from this number. Listen, I've had this number for like 20 years. There's no way that a Roy called from you. From I was putting my, my kid to bed, and I just returned the call because it's oh. my caller ID. What's your name? Please. Oh, you made her hang up asking what her name is. You don't ask a lady her name. Who are you? This, this is this is fucking Roy. Roy, what the fuck did you just do to me, dude? Can, can, can you, I put you on the phone with someone else calling me back. God damn you, you fucker. I sure got you, didn't I? You did, you cocksucker. <laughs> That was, hey, that was uncalled for. Don't call me a cocksucker. I'm sorry. What is going on? What? <laughs> My <laughs> cocksucking has nothing to do with this phone call. Leave okay. it out of it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're right. You're okay. right. That Good. Was right. I know. Hey, listen, but, can you tell your hoe in the background to shut the fuck up? Whoa, 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 hold on. Look, dude, I'm I was just... in the middle of a baby bonosaurus rex <laughs> putting it in my girl, and in, you called. In the middle of what? A baby bulbasaur? <laughs> baby bonosaurus rex. Bonosaurus rex? Oh, you're having yeah. sex. I thought you said a bulbasaur. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like the Pokemon. About to, dude, and then you fucking called her, and I was like, who the fuck is this? Who's called you? <laughs> No idea. I don't yeah. know. Do I know you? Yeah, for real though. Tell her to shut the fuck up. She's really irritating. Hold on. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! You're about to cross the line, dude. Oh no, no! I'm I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just you, you called me. My phone rang, and then you've got this really irritating woman in the background. Just <laughs> you just you just need to raise raise your raise your pimp hand and say shut the fuck up, lady. Hold That's on. I'm pretty sure you called me. That's why we called you back. Yeah. Well, yeah. So, and I don't what's up, you. Roy? Well, I'm your neighbor. Neighbor? Yeah, I just live down the street. And you were, like, look, I have security cameras here, and I know that you were climbing around on my roof the other night. Can you please not climb around on my roof? It's weird. Roof? What's your address? Oh, you know, like what? You climb on every roof in the neighborhood. How do you know not? How, yeah. How do you not? Actually, how do you not know which one I, I am? I do. Well, can you please just stay off my roof? How can I? If I don't know your address. Well, stay off well, everyone's roof. It. It's not like none of these roofs are yours. Like, stay the fuck off of them. Hey. What? Free man. Don't ask for permission. What does that mean? Was that really deep that or something? Did it just go over my head? Yeah, it did. Okay, what's it mean? Explain it. Hold on. Are, are, are you it, voting for Trump or Biden? <laughs> it must suck to be you. Like, like nobody understands your, your, your clever little quips. It must be really hard. Hey, hey, lady, lady, is it hard to be married to him? Not ever understanding his, his dumb little Look, antidotes? Bro. Look, look, it's not an antidote. <laughs> Who are you voting for? Hilarious. Bro, what, what's that have to do with anything? It has to do with everything. Okay, <laughs> look, all that matters here is... Oh, God, listen, sir. I notice, you haven't, I, I notice you haven't told your hoe to shut the fuck up yet. I'm not going to tell her to shut the fuck up. You're thinking it, though. You're like, honey, just let me handle this. I can hear it in your voice. Yeah. No, no, because it's funny as fuck. Oh, okay. She's about to make you it's, her bitch. I don't know. I don't know why you think it's funny. Like if I was married to that, I'd be like, ugh, ugh. Yeah, I'm not married to her. Hopefully not you.
Yeah. yeah. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, you know, I got shit to do, so I'm going to hang up the phone now. We've been talking for like no, 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 six no, minutes no, tell already. Me your address. What? Tell me your address. Uh, just stay off everyone's roof. You don't need to be on other people's roofs. I haven't been on anybody's roof. Yeah, that's what somebody that climbs around on roofs would say. Hey, question for you. Go. Are you what's, gay what's, or your boyfriend is? What, what's, what's, my, what's my favorite Pokemon? Is that going to be your question? No, I said, are you gay or is your boyfriend gay? What's wrong with being gay? Look, it's 2020. You need to be more woke, woke than that. You shouldn't hey. be you shouldn't be trying to look for an insult in in the fact that someone's gay. Hey, what? look here. What? I mean, I mean, what, what, what was your point in asking no. that? Were you trying to shame me? Were you going to be like, "You're yeah. gay"? Ew! Yeah. Ugh! Yeah. Ugh! Seriously, how did you get my phone number? It's not even an Indiana phone number. <laughs> Sir, tell her to <laughs> shut up. Just tell her to shut like, up. Fuck, you shut up. Did you just call oh, her a? My- you could call her a fucking cunt. Awesome. I called you a cunt. High five. You, you did a good job there. Okay, look, I got to go. I got shit to do. Hey. Stop stop pranking me and stop here. stop playing on my roof. There ain't nobody playing on your roof, but I'm about to come on your face, you little slut. Yeah, right. Hang up on him. No, I'm going to hang up on you. Bye. No, I'm, I lost that round. Wait a minute. Did I lose that round? I forget how it works. Anyway, I have no idea who they were calling me back. I've been deleting the numbers that don't pick up, so they were already deleted when they called me, so I couldn't look them up. And I think I do remember talking to the lady that called during their call, and I'm pretty sure that was a call that I was planning to delete, but maybe I'll leave it in since we got to hear from her again. But I'm kind of thinking her call wasn't very funny, so why would I? Oh god, here's another call back. I have no idea if it's them. Hello? Hello? Uh, I think you called me. What are you talking about? My phone just rang. My phone rang, and I picked up, and I said hello, and you didn't say anything for several seconds, and I just kept saying hello, and then you accused me of calling you. What the fuck are you talking about, lady? All right. I win, I guess. Oh, shit. I I see who she is. I just called her a second ago. Let me call her right back. Hello? Oh, hey, Laura. I did call you. I don't know why you had to be so weird about it, though. I'm your neighbor. It's Roy. Do what? I'm your neighbor. My name's Roy. I did call you. I'm, you know me. I'm in the blue house. So, Do yeah. what? Look, what is wrong with... Are you high? All right, that's a yes. We have exposed Laura's addiction to marijuana. Please seek help, Laura. It's a gateway drug. Hello. Hi, is Herman there? Who's calling? Ah, uh, this is Roy. I'm your neighbor. I live. I live here down the street on Trail. No, hold on. What do you mean no? Hello. Hey, Herman. It's Roy, your neighbor in the blue house. Yeah. Hey. What'd you say it like that for? It's almost as if you don't believe me. <laughs> I do. <laughs> okay, that's good. Hey. Can you stop lying in my yard and smoking weed like that late at night? It's weird. But what? You, you have your own yard. Can you just stay over at your own yard and smoke? I don't smoke. What's this matter with you? Well, no, you, you've been laying out in my backyard smoking weed, like just laying in the grass late at night. Can you please not do no. that? <laughs> you got a wrong number. Oh no, no, it's definitely you. Um, you know, I, 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 we're, we're neighbors. I know. Yeah, I live in the blue house. You, you're always coming over no, here and just smoke, no. smoking weed in my backyard. And no, that, you got. I'm sorry, you got a wrong number. That's trespassing. Please don't. Please don't smoke. You know Nobody comes to your backyard. I never smoke in my oh, life. Oh, What's the matter with you? Yes, they do. Who are you anyway? They co- you, you come here all the time and smoke weed in my backyard. I'm sorry you got a wrong number. Okay, sir, look, look, I'm not angry. I'm just, if you could just stop, that's, that's all I'm needing. Nobody just, comes to your backyard. 
What are you talking about? I, I have security camera footage of you laying in my yard smoking marijuana. Okay, fine. Make, maybe I'm making assumptions. Maybe you're smoking Marlboros. I don't know. But no, you, I, I never smoked in my lifetime. But, but that's even weirder when you think about it. Can you please just smoke, yeah. smoke in your own yard? Are you worried about your wife finding out? No, my wife knows me. I never smoke. She knows that you come over and smoke in my yard? No. Can you please just stop? Well, I, I even don't know who you are. Okay, can I talk to your wife? You've got to identify yourself. You've got the blue house. Oh, I already did. I come Roy. to your backyard. Roy from the blue house. What's your house number? My house number? What do you need that for? Well, you should know it. I mean, I'm, I'm like five houses down. You're always smoking. no. You got the wrong number, sir. I'm 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 I don't have the wrong number. And you don't call somebody at 10 p.m. accuse some things. Well, it's because you always come over here at like like one in the morning and smoke marijuana. I'm over at one. You, you, this is this is harassment call. I'm over. No, it's not harassment call. You're 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 giving me harassment visits. I live over no, here. I live over here. Never smoked in my lifetime. I lived you, over. You call at 10 p.m. saying I come to your backyard to smoke marijuana. Yeah, but are you just saying that you don't do it because your wife's there and you don't want her to know? Because, look, I'll keep... No, my wife, hears, my wife hears everything you say. I don't appreciate calling somebody at 10 p.m. accusing things oh. that is not right. Well, I just figured you were a late-night person because you're always coming over here and smoking no. marijuana in my backyard. And I, no, I don't my wife is very upset with you, your statement you're making. Uh, what, you, you keep talking for your wife. I'm starting to think she doesn't exist. Do you really have a wife? Yeah, I'm sorry. Bye she, bye. I don't even hear her. Look, I. I what? Oh, I. Who is calling? Oh my gosh, you do exist. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to be like that. It's Roy from the Blue House. I'm over at 113. Hi. Who are you calling? I'm over at 113. I, I was just like, you know, your husband's always coming over here and smoking marijuana in my bed. My husband never do that. Well, maybe he just does it after you fall asleep. No way. My husband is not that type. Well, Don't can, accuse. Can, can you please just tell him to stop you know, smoking someone else's lawn in someone else's yard, please? He never does that. But I, I, he does that, no. I have him on camera. He's always smoking. No, he's not. He's not. Well, I don't know. I'm it sorry. sounds like you're being kind of dishonest. Oh, there she goes. Hello? Oh, oh my gosh. Hello? Yes. Oh, I, uh, well, I, did, I didn't realize it would connect me to someone. I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm, sitting in, I'm sitting in the back of my Uber. I, I was just, like, I had my cell phone, and I, just, I decided to tap SOS in Morse code on my cell phone to see if it would connect me to 911 or something. I didn't think it would, but it connected me to you. What, okay, is this, I, is, I think it's uh, if you if you dial nine one one if you need it. No, I don't it need it. you to nine one one. I I don't okay, need it. So I, I I was I tapped SOS onto my cell phone. I figured, shit, my brand new idea doesn't work. I don't know where that idea came from. I I don't know. I was just wondering. Can you tap SOS on your cell phone, and a police officer will magically show up here? Let's try it. S. O. S. Oh shit! Oh shit! No, just kidding. It didn't do anything. Maybe the phone has to be off. No, still nothing. What a dumb thought that was. Where did that come from? Hopefully the police don't show up in a minute though. Okay, so the show is over right now. No more calls. We're gonna do some voicemails now. It's actually Thursday the 20th now, even though this I think I'm going to make this a uh, August 19th show because all these calls were recorded last night. What happened last night is that I did, I don't know, like half of these calls while Daisy was doing a show and I thought she was just going to keep doing a show until Devin went on last night, but she quit when there were still two hours to go. She goes to bed earlier than I regret jumping, which was immediately after that last call you just heard. So I did a live show last night. And I'm not going to include that on this show. I'm going to just put it on the next show, just so everything is themed properly, because it's a Carol show, and I guess she's basically doing the same thing, just calling people off of the same list of Frankies. Thanks again, Frankie, for this list. 
been using it forever. It's a good list. So be looking forward to another episode this week. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow. I just got to edit it and put it all together and everything. And right now I'm just working on getting this one put out before the day is over. So here are some voicemails. Oi, Brad, man. Tap water from Columbus. Hey, tap water. I just had an idea. I'm driving down the highway. You know how there's some trucks. Oh, yeah. Uh, an idea, stuff. everyone. They have number on their bag. They're like, hey, tell me how I'm doing with my driving. Mm-hmm. Call this number to tell me about my driving, whatever. Uh, I was thinking, would you take a list of those numbers if I were to collect them and send them? Sure. I don't know. I was Why thinking not? maybe you can talk about the driver. You don't want to make the driver lose his job, but say stuff like, oh, oh no. he was ridiculous stuff. I'm like, going to make him lose his job. Fuck those drivers. He was making balloon animals and throwing out the window. He was uh, throwing clown hats. He was throwing... Uh, yeah. Okay. Know. Thanks for the voicemail with the idea in it. Yeah, people send me those occasionally. I think I've tried to call them, and aren't they usually automated systems? Maybe it depends on the trucking company. Hey, this is DeAndre calling from Kansas. Hey. Uh... Quick idea, okay. not a prank idea. idea. Nick Caesar should do a, a snowplow show, comic book or something. I don't know how to contact him. Yeah, Nick Caesar. I, I would buy a comic book. You could maybe do a Kickstarter for it. Mm-hmm. Maybe once every year featuring like the best pranks and like illustrated scenes. Yeah, get, get to work on that, Nick Caesar. I'm sure you don't have other things to do, right? There actually is a uh, PLA comic book, sort of. It's a hardcover book, though. It's not like a flimsy comic book like you think of as a comic book. But Olga did it. Olga and King Richard and I Regret Jumping. And it's all about our adventures in the corporate office. And it's actually kind of awesome. And I think you can read the entire thing if you subscribe to Olga's Patreon, which is patreon.com slash Olga Draws Dragons. Mostly she just draws dragons, but she also does corporate office PLA stuff. And it's kind of a cool thing. I have meant to, like, I have the book. They were nice enough to give me one. And I love it and everything, but it's not available to the public. Like, you can't just buy it on Amazon or anything. But I was thinking about getting a few copies of that myself and just seeing if any of you wanted to buy it for me. It's super expensive. I forget what price they told me, but it was crazy. Because, you know, it's just a short-run book. Just a few copies of it. So the comic book, it exists. But yeah, Nick Caesar should do one, too. Hurry up and whip that up real quick, Nick Caesar. Uh, Hey, Brad. It's like... 12.02 12.02 right now. Um, wow, that's nice. I had the nice. idea. How come sometimes you don't like... It's 12.02, everyone. Someone's like, oh, really, you think you're so immature making prank calls? Why don't you just tell them that it's your actual job and you make a lot of money off of it? Yeah, that'll teach oh, them. That's it. I don't want to brag, though. And really, they're not going to believe me. Like, no matter what I say, they're not going to believe me. Hey, Brad. I'm uh, not going to say my name. Hey. Uh, but... You should call Mildred Monday, son. I listened to some of that old stuff, and it was really funny. Yeah, it was great. Or you can maybe find Thanks. new people. Maybe Mildred Tuesday and her son's Tuesday boys. Yeah. I'll harass a Tuesday for 20 years straight. That'd, That'd be really funny. great. Or if you just play some of the calls that aren't online. It seems like a lot of this stuff you got to listen through and are hard to find. If you could maybe do like a throwback snowplow show to Mildred Monday, that'd be cool. I know yeah. you've done other ones, but... Maybe There's some... a YouTube video. It's called Mildred Monday Extravaganza. I remember seeing a brand new comment on that recently, so maybe that was you. Or maybe not. I'm looking it up right now, and I'm going to put a link to it in the show notes. There it is. It's 30 minutes long, like an entire 30 minutes of Mildred Monday prank calls, and I think everything's in here, but I'm probably not going to call Mildred Monday's sons, mainly because I don't have their phone number. I remember we had to look it up using some really sketchy methods 10 years ago when we called them and afterwards I just threw it away and they wouldn't listen to me anyway would they didn't they just yell at me a bunch I don't remember what they even said it's probably in that Mildred Monday extravaganza video which is now linked in the show notes hello Brad this is John from Amazon customer service I wanted to first apologize first off because uh, your order of a 24 count case of microwave milkshakes It's going to be delayed uh, by maybe a few days. Fuck. We had to search the warehouse for hours, and we're in disbelief that such a thing would exist. My apologies, and thank you for choosing Amazon Prime. Have a great day. Sure. Okay. Guess I listed the voicemail by accident. Actually, that happens quite a bit, because I always give out the PLA voicemail number as my cell phone number when a store asks for it. Not with Amazon, though. 
That's the only reason I know that that call was fake. Hey, Brad, it's Mailer Damon. Um, I know I haven't called in in a long time. I've still been listening. Okay. Uh, I had to call because your prank on depressed mashed potatoes of making him think that you had called his neighbor uh, and yeah. told him to come show him the fucking karate was amazing. I bet you. That's ya. all. Yeah. Love you, bye. I bet you that freaked him the fuck out there for a split second. I actually emailed Depressed Mashed Potatoes after I pranked his neighbor and just let him know because I really feel like that neighbor is going to know that he had something to do with it. Even though that somebody in the YouTube comments explained to me that if you Google Sensei Doug, a bunch of shit about prank calls comes up. But Googling any other Sensei, that doesn't happen, so he's probably going to be fine. Oh, but the reason I was mentioning that is because when I emailed Depressed Mashed Potatoes, I didn't even let him know about the joke. I'm just like, yep, I called your neighbor. Be on the lookout. So I'm pretty much a huge jerk. There's actually a voicemail here from Depressed Mashed Potatoes. A few voicemails down. Let's see what he has to say. Hey, Brad. It's Depressed Mashed Potatoes. Hey. I just wanted to call and say uh, thanks for making me poop my pants. <laughs> I literally was like, my face dropped. And I was like, oh, gosh, why did he do that? <laughs> but uh, nice one. Nice. You got me. You know, I did this to Gloria like five years ago, maybe. Wait, was it that long ago? Maybe three years ago. She had me prank her mom or something, and I pretty much just ratted her out and did some editing. I should do that all the time from now on. It's hilarious. And uh, don't feel bad. My neighbor's a jerk, so he doesn't deserve to do karate outside. Good. I even let my son listen to the call, and when, uh, <laughs> when he heard that you said that this was upstairs neighbor, his face just dropped as well, too. Oh, so thanks for that. That was great. I... You're the best. <laughs> I Bye. Cause... I caused a lot of fear in your family this week. You're welcome for that. It's kind of like real prank calls. You know, you think some horrible thing is happening, and you're like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, how do I deal with this? This is the worst thing ever. And then all of a sudden, you don't have to deal with it anymore. This is how prank call recipients feel. They're like, oh shit, I have my next door neighbor just completely hating me right now and accusing me of metal detecting or whatever. And then soon after, they find out that it was all just a prank. It feels pretty good, doesn't it? Oh yeah, I also got a, uh, a message on YouTube as long as we're talking about this. And hopefully I can find it. Hold on, let me do some searching here. Oh yeah, here it is. It's from Zach. He says, so a listener gives you a list or a number and asks you not to mention the upstairs neighbor and you still do? Kind of a dick move and an easy way not to get as many numbers. I know he may have just said don't mention the upstairs neighbor because it's someone he doesn't like, but still. So that comment, like my YouTube comments, they're emailed to me. So I got that as an email with the rest of the comments on the last show. And when I clicked on it, it had been deleted. So I guess this Zach person, and sorry, Zach, I don't mean to call you out or anything. I just think it's funny. But he must have heard me do that. And then he paused the video and wrote me this comment on the video telling me what a horrible person I am. And then after he finished, he resumed the video, and he's like, oh, I see. I tricked so many people. It was awesome. What's up, Brad? It's Chris C. calling from the Great White North. Hey. So first of all, I got the Patreon stickers in the mail this morning, and they're fucking awesome, so thanks a lot for that. I appreciate it. Sure. But here's the thing. I got them from my community mailbox, and I was on my way to renew my car insurance, so I put them in my pocket. When I get to the insurance place, I accidentally hand the fucking agent my PLA envelope with all the stickers in it. Oops. And he looks at me. He's like, this isn't your insurance. This is phone losers of america and i'm like oh shit <laughs> he's like he's like what's phone losers and i'm like oh it's this prank call community thing and he just looks at me like i have nine heads and he's like okay <laughs> people just don't oh, get you're it you're welcome for the free gorilla marketing i did for you <laughs> yes no problem goodbye cactus cactus i think everybody should do that just accidentally hand people envelopes full of pla shit i hope you gave him a sticker at least Oh my god. Hey Brad, it's Corbin guy. It's been a little while. Yeah. So hey, you know what? I had a hamburger with you the other month and that was awesome. I remember but that. I never really got a good look at your crotch. No gay, no homo. But uh yeah, I I'm wondering, like, you know, do you do you hang to the left or to the right? Okay. Okay. Corbin guy. That's a, that's a fucked up question. Ignore, yeah. ignore this voice. A little now. weird. I, I feel kind of uh, me too'd here. I may have to put Corbin on the me too list. Next time we get a hamburger, I'm going to wear a cod piece so you can't stare at me. That'll fix everything. Brad. What? This is Alabaster from Iowa. Okay. 
And I really think you should change your name that you give people from Steve, Dave, or Roy to something more funny like Dean Galberry. Get it? Dingleberry. Oh, uh, ha, ha, ha. Just think of that in the future. What a good one. I love you so much, Brad. I love you so much. Bye-bye. Okay. Thanks for the voicemail. It was great. I wanted to finish up all of the August voicemails, but at this point, I'm just kind of creeped out. Got people talking about my dick, people saying they love me. I'm feeling very uncomfortable right now, and and I just need to go, okay? I just need to go. So thanks for listening, everyone. Thank you, Effin Reality and Ryan Jardina, Stacky, Stace, Lord and Lady of Veggies, and Steel Lotus for being the official supporters of today's show. And if you want to do that, please go to the Patreon, patreon.com slash phonelosers or phonelosers.com slash support. It's only $5 a month and you get an extra show every single week and access to the other 200 and whatever shows that are only for the supporters. Don't you feel left out? You should be a member too. Okay, that's the end of today's show. I will probably see you tomorrow with another show. Maybe even tonight. I don't know, but probably not. I still got some editing to do. Gotta get this one put together. But as I said before, I did a live show last night, and that will be the next episode of the Snowplow Show. So be looking forward to that probably tomorrow. I'm at the Pizza Hut. What? I'm at the Taco Bell. What? I'm at the Combination Pizza Hut and Taco Bell. No, this is not a charade. (laughs) 